Hi, everybody. I'm Joey Ito, director of the MIT Media Lab. Welcome to the Media Lab. Um, I'm going to start by quoting Kate Crawford, who quoted Pedro Domingos, who said, uh, people worry that computers will get too smart and take over the world, but the real problem is that they're too stupid and they've already taken over the world. And I think this really sort of reflects the sentiments of the, uh, Kate, who's one of the uh, co-founders of this, but also the Media Lab. I think you know, there's an outside chance of a superintelligence, but I think that's fairly unlikely. I think what's more likely is that we have, uh, we, we use the term extended intelligence. So if you think about society, government, we have a very complex system that's arguably smarter, at least more complex than the sum of the parts. And pieces of it are already becoming automated, whether you're talking about risk scores in the judiciary or diagnostics in, 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 with doctors or, or uh, uh, self-driving um, vehicles and things like that. And so if you, let me try to use an image. So if you can imagine a bunch of people doing some funky folk dance that involves them being tied together with thousands of years of history that are kind of running around in a complex motion headed in roughly some direction. And then imagine some weird people going and putting jetpacks on them sort of without really talking to them. And then imagine the jetpacks starting to fire randomly. So what would happen is it would be kind of unpredictable. It probably, they'd head roughly in the direction that they were headed, but things would go mostly badly, but could randomly happen in good ways. So the jetpacks are machines that are not necessarily getting smarter, they're getting more powerful. And the people are us, and the people putting the jetpacks on are the computer scientists, who sometimes try to understand what the people want to do by sort of looking at their data. So. This has sort of been going on for a while now, and what I think that a, a number of us and a lot of the people who you'll be hearing from today realize that we can't just leave it up to the jetpack engineers to sort of figure out where they are put and wh where they're pointed. And the other thing is that we kind of have to get our ship in order before these jetpacks go off, because if we're headed in the wrong direction, we're going to be headed in the wrong direction a lot faster and in a lot more complex way. And so I think the key thing right now is for the jetpack guys to be talking to the people who are actually having these jetpacks put on them, for the people who understand this complex dance, which all these people are doing, to sort of understand that the jetpacks are coming, so that when they do fire, that society has some chance of surviving or maybe even getting better. So I think it's a huge opportunity, but unless we have this conversation among all the people involved in what's a complex system. So we talk about the word design. When we think about design, we think about like designing mice. When you design a complex system like the ecosystem, the environment, or society or government, you don't design it like you design a, a thing. You design it like you design a, a society, a system. And so it requires a lot of people coming together having a conversation and building things. And so the two uh, co-founders, uh, Kate and Meredith, of this initiative, and we recently launched this AI and Ethics Fund, and we're happy that they're one of our first uh, uh, groups that we're supporting that we announced today, organized this conference last year, and it was so great that we uh, asked them to do it here. And with that, I'll hand it off to Kate and Meredith. <laughs> 